For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff up the Mad Cheese, as always. We just had a big uh, College Football 25 gameplay video drop, and I want to give you guys my reaction as well as break down in a little more detail some of the things that I saw uh, that they were talking about during this uh, 15 or minute so, um, you know, gameplay trailer that they put out. Uh, but before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I do plan on doing uh, more videos all this week because they're going to have information dropping about stuff all this week. Please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, one of the first couple things that you notice when watching the uh, the gameplay is, uh, number one, the presentation is so much better uh, than Madden. And I did play Madden 25, so I will make be making some comparisons between the two games because I think a lot of people thought that, especially early on, that Madden um, or that uh, College 25 is going to be like a duplicate or a copy and paste of Madden. What it really feels like the exact opposite from watching this gameplay, it almost seems like um, Madden 25 is closer to being a duplicate or a copy and paste of college football 25 which things like uh, presentation being better in college football 25 and things like speed being noticeably faster in the gameplay uh, that they that they showed us as well uh, which you can just see that the, the decision making and stuff like that is so much faster they go over the passing mechanics uh, pretty early on and one of the things that I like about the passing mechanics is I was concerned that uh, lower rated quarterbacks might have a harder time passing the ball consistently uh, with Michigan here you got Alex Orgy who is not uh, a very highly rated quarterback at all and you really didn't see a ton of uh, incomplete passes. They didn't show you the full game. They really only showed you the highlights. But it appeared that he was capable of making all the throws. They even went over the penalty system or the blue, yellow, and green bar, or blue, yellow, and red bar that could come up based off of uh, how you, well you time a throw. And it didn't seem to matter. They kept mentioning that even if you hit red, the throw might just be a little behind or it might be more capable of them dropping or getting knocked out. But it still seemed like even with without the best timing, you were still going to have uh, the opportunity to catch every single ball, which is something that I I really like because in previous college football games it always felt like um, passing was just harder to do because quarterbacks weren't as good as in the NFL uh, and, and it's good to see like I said with Michigan not having one of the, the you know a, a new quarterback basically not being very highly rated he was able the the, the player Donovan Edwards was clearly making every throw with no real issues uh, which is really nice to see so passing should be uh, just as good in this game as any other football game like I said like Madden or something like that um, you should still have a very easy time uh, passing the football if that's how you want to run your offense regardless of the quarterback which is kind of how it felt now I don't know how that's going to be if you're playing with like a one-star team or a two-star team that might be a little bit different but with a team uh, like Michigan obviously um, you know, like I said, I think Alex George is a pretty, he was a four star recruit uh, from some uh, publication, I think 247 Sports had him as a four, or his ESPN, I think, actually has him as a four star recruit. So it's not like he's a, a you know, not a highly rated player. Uh, but there's definitely, uh, it just quelled some of my concerns about how passing might be for the average given team. Now, something else that they went over quite a bit was the ball carrier control moves, uh, which in Madden, when I played Madden 25 Beta, it really felt like only the spin move was good. You could make some things happen with juke moves, but you're seeing here Donovan Edwards put on a really good, almost like a double juke um, to get through the hole there. Uh, he was putting on a clinic when it came to running in the, in the two games played, um, but the spin move was shown uh, from his opponent quite a bit um, to be very successful. I think the spin move was probably the best thing in Madden when I played it. Uh, and the stiff arm, they basically tried to make it sound like the ball carry moves in this game were all going to be effective um, compared to uh, in Madden where it only feels like every year there's like one really effective move and everything else is just kind of trashed by comparison. Now, next up, they go over composure and the wear and tear, which is always going to be represented on the player's icon, on the reticle on the player. And it looks like five green bars right now uh, for the wear and tear. As the game goes on, as the player takes a bunch of big hits, you'll see that go down to different colors, uh, which is something that uh, looks like it's going to be a huge impact on the game. Uh, you definitely don't want to be taking big hits. Like, you're seeing a lot of big hit sticks and stuff like that being thrown around. Um, they talk about how individual player um, body parts uh, get hurt, which a lot of this stuff is not news. 
Um, but it's something that uh, they show how it affects later in the game, how quarterbacks were just not throwing the ball as well. They're less accurate as they're getting more hits in the uh, second game that they show. Uh, here they show the, the pitch system. Here he puts on, on a quick pitch. Uh, where basically it's just tapping uh, the pitch button. Like I said, a lot of stuff's not new, but there is a lot of new information if you haven't been following along. I even found some new information. I've been following along pretty pretty intently. They have the strong pitch, which takes longer but goes further, and the fake pitch, which they mentioned, uh, I don't know, kind of jokingly, that the fake pitch was really just like a way of showboating, uh, making it sound like it doesn't really do too much. I'm sure it fakes out user defenders, but the way they talk about that makes me wonder if it fakes out uh, computer defenders. Now, they do mention later on that pump fakes in college football uh, will fake out uh, cornerbacks and stuff like that. We'll fake out defensive players to basically like hold cornerbacks down and stuff like that. So I can't imagine how uh, a, how that would a, a, a fake pitch. If, if you're going to be able to pump fake players, I would imagine fake pitching players should uh, fool them as well. Now, here in the next play, uh, we see an interception uh, from Texas, uh, and it looks like uh, they're going to highlight how um, they basically had used a cover three or cover show two, where they're basically using the new system where they can do coverage shells, which is something I did see in Madden, but I did not notice that you can do this in huddle before picking a play. Now, I don't know if that means that it's not in the game, but they do go over that here in a minute, where you have more options in huddle when picking a play, uh, which, like I said, I just might not have noticed with my time with the Madden 25 beta. But you can see right there, uh, they will go over that in a little bit more detail in a minute, but do you have a really limited option when it comes to uh, pre-snap covered shells uh, in the coach or in your, in your pre-snap adjustments once you come out of the huddle? Uh, but like I said, this looks like the part here where they're going to show the fact that you can pick cover six, cover four, cover three, you just have a lot more options here in the uh, the pre-snap huddle, which is something that I thought was sorely missing in Madden 25, unless I just didn't notice it. So if you guys noticed that playing the Madden 25 beta and I just missed it, let me know in the comment section. Let everybody know in the comment section because I'm definitely hoping that that's going to be uh, in Madden 25 as well. But if not, it's once again huge advantage for College 25 as College 25 at the moment just looks like a, a much better game uh, as far as, you know, the, the, the presentation and uh, just the look at the game. There's a lot of stuff right now that makes me think that College 25 is just going to be a better game overall. So we have a big run there from Diamond Edwards. And it was at that point that they show uh, the, the new uh, celebration system, which gives you total control over the celebrations you have. They have like 20 different uh, celebrations you can do here. And it's really based, it almost looks like Mortal Kombat finish moves after you score a touchdown, which I think is totally cool. Because in Madden right now, you really just got like four options where you just hit up, down, left, right on the left stick, and you get to choose some generic, uh, you don't really have a lot of choices at all. So it's, I really think that the new celebration system is going to be cool. Everybody's going to find their favorite celebration, and they're definitely going to work on which uh, celebration they want to use the most, I'm sure. Uh, they go over a new pass. Uh, which is something that they're uh, trying to say how you can really place the ball in an area that only the receiver can get it. Uh, they go over that a little bit more in the future as well. But you only get to see this one time, so it's really hard to say how consistent this is. Uh, but they do highlight that. Um, but once again, passing looks really strong in the game, uh, which I think is the most important takeaway. They once again show how the spin move uh, works really well on the next play. You get a little bit more movement on the spin move in this game than you get in Madden 25. That was something that I noticed. The spin move was really effective in Madden 25, but you really just spin in place. Where here you get a little bit of movement on it, and you can see how you make a guy miss there, um, which I think is definitely, like I said, the ball carrier control looks much better. As you can see, the juke move there completely made two guys miss as Donovan Edwards just looks completely dirty on the sticks. Um, but like I said, that's something where in Madden, it really felt like they just toned all that down uh, this year and things like uh, like jukes just don't feel nearly as good uh, as they do um, look anyway in College 25. So the gameplay here uh, just looks more polished. I mean, that's just like the consistent theme here. Uh, as you can see, once again, Alex Orgy dotting up on the sideline. Like I said, it's really good to see that it doesn't really seem to matter how good your quarterback is. It looks like you're still going to be able to play and make tight throws like that, which even in Madden, you don't see a lot of times. They'll, they'll, they'll float the ball out of bounds and stuff like that, uh, which is, you know, like I said, that's something that uh, it was one of my biggest concerns is how is passing going to look in this game. It looks really good. Uh, here you can see, you know, the lob pass. Um, which is something where, uh, you know, he actually doesn't complete it, but you get a realistic penalty 
uh, which is, uh, you know, pass interference. I guess in college it's only a 15-yard penalty compared to the NFL where it'd probably be like a 50-yard penalty there. And then we get to see our first look at what turbo mode offense looks like. So basically he's calling a hurry up and he's hitting, uh, I think the R2 button was the button to go into turbo mode, which they also mentioned because he is down here about two touchdowns, about two minutes left. They also mentioned how going into turbo mode will put uh, the defense at a disadvantage, you can see they're not getting set in time. The the defensive linemen are not getting into their rush lanes uh, to the point where um, you know it's just an, it's just more advantages to the offense. Obviously, you're going to wear down a lot quicker if you go into turbo mode, which is something I once again not in Madden. But you can see the defensive ends are gonna it's going to quell the pass rush, uh, which is important here. Now, with about two minutes left or under two minutes left in the game, this is the first time we see field general activate uh, which is something that a lot of people were concerned about that these abilities would be kind of like mad and you'd be something that you would have access to the entire game where you could see here that um that he could see that the cornerbacks were blitzing uh which is interesting you know it's interesting to see that uh how how very few uh opportunities you're going to have for things like that to highlight and work Maybe if the player that was using this team was playing a little better, he might get more often because they said that it really just came down to composure and staying ahead of the sticks, which only scoring seven points in a four-quarter game at this point really isn't that good. So it makes you think that his offense wasn't really working that well. And that might be why you didn't see it very often. It might be something that's a little more controllable if somebody was playing better on that side of the ball while Donovan Edwards was really just running the ball the entire time. So you really didn't get to see an opportunity uh, for, and I don't even know if Alex Orgy has field general. I wouldn't imagine that he would, and especially not at a very high tier, considering that he's, uh, I don't think he's ever started in college before. I don't think he's only played a handful of plays as a running uh, option style quarterback. So, uh, but in the second game here, uh, Penn State should be a higher rated team. Uh, and it doesn't really seem to matter. They, they really, I guess they wanted to show Penn State because they wanted to show the crowd noise effectiveness of playing a game in Penn State. I love the night atmosphere, by the way. Um, I wish it was like a whiteout uh, game or something like that, but uh, ultimately it still looks really cool. Um, you know, like I said, being from the, the, the Pennsylvania area, Penn State um, is definitely the local team, and it's definitely going to be one of the teams that you see me use the most. Um, as they get to show off, uh, you know, the, uh, the the Nittany Lion opening up the gate, the same way that they showed uh, the rough version of that when they were showing, um, like, the very early trailers. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I you didn't really get to hear it the same way. I can't wait to see this live and be playing this live. Like I said, this is probably going to be one of the teams that I use the most. Uh, by the second game, though, um, whoever's using Penn State is getting absolutely plastered. And uh, you can see here they talk about how the defensive player has a pocket disruptor. Uh, obviously, Mason Graham is one of the best players in college football. He's probably going to be like a top five pick uh, in the NFL. Uh, but they talk about that, how how that can be something that'll, that'll you know, that's something where uh, you can see it's just a little bit more active. They talk about the custom stem feature, which I did have some time with in Madden 25, but they always show it on like a curl route or something stupid. The custom stem is going to be overpowered on things like uh, corner routes and uh, things like post routes. Uh, they never I don't know if they're underestimating the ability of what this, this function is going to do, but it's something that they never give it full credit in these videos. It's really overpowered uh, for, for routes that, that break across the field and stuff like that. As my opponent throws a, a pick six uh, very early on in the game. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I know this guy's another YouTuber, but at the end of this game, he looks like complete trash. This is what I was talking about here about how uh, the running back for Penn State, I don't remember which one it is because I have a couple good running backs, but they show his speed is actually faster than Donovan Edwards, and for some reason he couldn't break uh, a, a long run. He just doesn't look as fast. So it's like, I don't know if it's because Donovan Edwards is a cover athlete, if there's something, uh, some ability that he has or what, but there's just... Um, I just does I just don't understand how uh, how my man here with Penn State's uh, running backs, uh, which are both very good. Like I said, they have two very good running backs, but for whatever reason, um, he couldn't break that house call. And Diamond Edwards seemed to be able to do it consistently, which is just very unique. Uh, they talk about how he has a road dog mentality too. Uh, as you can see right here, here's the speed range. Yeah, it was Nicholas Singleton. I think I said some somebody else. But he has a 94 speed compared to Donovan Edwards' 92 speed, and he just didn't seem to have the ability to break that long touchdown run. So I don't know what to make of that. I don't know if uh, Donovan Edwards has uh, something that makes him a better breakaway running back. I know they talk about different styles of running backs um, to the point where maybe, you know, because he, he does have – uh, he has shown some ability to be a, a home run threat. I think it was in the national championship game. I think he had two like really big runs. Uh, so maybe that's something to do with it. Um, but they, you know, they go over the stadium pulse next. 
which obviously got that squiggly line effect, uh, which used to be in the old college football games. Also, it was in Madden, put in Madden a couple years ago. Here, they didn't show what happened there, but I'm guessing that uh, Bordeaux was uh, pressing because he talked about that in the first game, how he couldn't stop the run, so he started pressing. So pressing is not something you want to do in any of these games. Same thing with Madden. You don't want to, um, as I did, like I said, once again, I got to play Madden a little bit, Madden 25. You don't want to press, so that's going to happen a lot. So this is something where you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're not pressing DBs because you're going to be giving up touchdowns like that. It's not a good defensive strategy at all. Um, but obviously, like I said, my, my man here, Bordeaux, I, I, I don't know. I know they say he's a YouTuber, but I'm not too familiar with him as he's just getting absolutely roasted as he throws another pick six, which is just embarrassing at this point. As they talk about the composure, the composure system too, which um, really starts to go down. They talk about here, if you were to look at his composure rating, uh, Drew Aller's uh, composure is really just taking a shit right now. And it's going to continue to manifest, as you can see here on a, on a previous, or maybe the next play, you get a pick six off of a sack. Uh, and now you got the big man, uh, you know, rumbling, stumbling, bumbling for another pick six, which, like I said, is just embarrassing. Uh, when you have Mason Graham, who I'm sure is probably like an 80 speed defensive tackle or something like that. I'm, I think he's got a pretty decent speed rating, although I don't get to see it in the game here. But at the end of the day, it's like he's just throwing pick six after pick six after pick six, and that's that's a direct relation to the composure rating uh, because he's just playing like a you know he's playing like an idiot right now. And now he's also chucking the ball all over the field, down three scores. You kind of have to. Uh, this is something where they talk about if you're throwing the ball too much, you're going to see how that's going to going to manifest as far as the quarterback's um, you know wear and tear system. And later in games, if you're doing that too much, you're just going to be floating balls and throwing bad balls and stuff like that, which I I think you might already be seeing uh, some of the effects of that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, composure is going to be key. They go over on the next play. I guess uh, my, my um, uh, Donovan Evers here throws a red uh, ball. Uh, which just means he, he held the uh, the button down a little bit too much. But you can see it's still catchable ball, which is something that I really like. I really feel like um, that's something that I was concerned with. Here you can see he throws out to the flat. And once again, you can just see the speed of Donovan Edwards, which is just on a different level. It's just if for whatever reason, even though his speed rating is not on a different level, he just gets that edge. Maybe it was a bad angle by the user. Hard to say, but that's something where it's like you don't really see that a lot. I mean, they do talk about how he has a takeoff ability, uh, and, and it's not even a high tier, so it shouldn't matter that much. Uh, but ultimately, you can see how he just has the ability to just get upfield that much faster than what feels like everybody else. Here's another interception by Bordeaux. That was just a poor read. It's pretty clear at this point that Donovan Edwards is just a better player uh, on the sticks. Uh, but you don't get to see no neither, neither one of them because they're probably not used to it. They're probably used to playing Madden uh, at this point. But neither one of them really uses the switch sticks function very much. Uh, they show the kicking function here, uh, which you can see. They talk about how like not every field goal is a gimme. And it's not really that way in Madden either, although it's a lot easier. Uh, but ultimately, you know, they just show how field goal kicking is uh, less effective in college. It's just reality. There's not as many good kickers in college as there's in the NFL. A lot of kickers miss kicks. Uh, they show here how I was saying earlier about pump fakes can fake out um, cornerbacks. And I'm guessing uh, safeties and stuff like that, but they don't really talk about cornerbacks. But that's really cool because pump fakes kind of useless in Madden uh, in that regard. But it's really going to add its effectiveness to this game, making it a much more effective tool. And it's going to be something that now you actually have to use, which is going to be really nice. Uh, back on uh, you know on, on defense for Penn State here, you can see how uh, throwing the run doesn't really affect the accuracy too much. Even though, like I said, Alex Orgy, he's a very good athletic quarterback, so maybe that's why. But I just like the the fact that passing just looks so clean, as you can see right here. I mean, that's just a really good pass lead up the field. Uh, and then once again, you can see how um, he almost scores uh, on the catch and run here. Then he goes to an, what looks like a, a, an option play with a little bit of a pitch. Uh, and you can see how, you know, this is the pitching mechanics just look so much better in this game compared to Madden, which a couple years ago, the pitching mechanics looked fine, and then it just felt like they just nerfed it. But in college, you know, this is just so important to uh, to the college game, uh, things like option plays, pitch plays, stuff like that. So it's really nice to see that uh, they're doing that right. Once again, it just feels like this game is going to be better. Um, all that really goes well on the Penn State side is we just have some, uh, some really nice catches, as you can see right there. Um, you know, but overall, the composure uh, for this entire team just looks like it's really just in the shits uh, as he almost does another interception. And they talk about how, um, you know, all the hits are piling up now 
uh, on uh, Penn State. They're taking a lot of big hits uh, to the point where it's just like the entire team just wearing down, which is going to be another way to control games, and it's going to be a way that the defense can really win games. If you're a defensive player, you like to play defense like I do, uh, you know, hit sticks and stuff like that, and just, just knocking the offensive players around is going to be a way to win games, which is really nice, um, you know, because that's realistic. You probably see that more often in college uh, than you do in other, uh, maybe in the NFL. Uh, here on, uh, they show a little bit of a, of a weather-related uh, poorly thrown ball. They talk about how throwing a wet football is going to be a little bit more different. Uh, that's another thing that um, you kind of see in Madden sometimes, but ultimately it's uh, it's not as big uh, as they're trying to. I mean, they really didn't show anything tangible of how much is going to affect games in that little clip, but they talk about it. Talk about weather affecting gameplay, um, which is going to be somewhat important. You can see here, once again, red poorly thrown ball thrown from behind uh they talk about once again drew aller taking a lot of damage and now he's just throwing the ball poorly because he's throwing the ball too much you know once again the composure probably isn't going to be as effective as much as the wear and tear from throwing the ball um you know 20 30 40 50 times if you're throwing the ball too much that's why it's going to be important to have a balanced offensive attack they then talk about uh when you have the opportunities to heal which is going to be things like timeouts uh things like halftime per quarter uh, halftime, he said, was going to be the biggest opportunity. So you're really going to have to play smart. You don't want to get down too much to the point where you're throwing the ball over the place, getting your quarterback hurt, and you don't have a lot of opportunities to get your to get that stamina back. Well, it's not called stamina, but the wear and tear. You need to get your wear and tear function back up. So it's going to be it's going to be a very important thing throughout the entire game. But it doesn't really seem to be a huge uh, deal as the game continues. You can still see he's still throwing the ball well enough as the game ends here. Uh, and it's just, I mean, right there you can see with 27 seconds left, it was 49 to 20-something. And then I guess um, my man Donovan Evers, before the game ends, scores another touchdown in the fourth quarter with 27 seconds left just to rub it in. As, like I said, I don't know this other this YouTuber, but he just gets completely annihilated in this game. Um, and it is what it is. Donovan Edwards got... Discover player of the game in the first two games played, and then I, guess, I don't know if they played any other games, but that was the only two that they showed. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there as they really just go over some of the highlights. But I thought that I mean the game looks amazing. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. It's only about a week away, and I'm so excited. I was so happy to see Penn State too um, in the game. Uh, Michigan's another team that I really want to use quite a bit because I, I love their defense, and um, I just think that uh, they're gonna be a really fun team as well. There's so many uh, teams uh, that I can't really wait to play uh, with. Let me know in the comment section what team you. You guys can't wait to play with or what team you guys want to see me play with first as uh, this game just looks awesome and i'm just geeking out at this point uh other than that uh, i'll have some videos popping up with some other videos that i made and that's it thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below